Well, welcome to this uh, first episode of Mailbag. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be many because, I mean, I, I can't buy everything all the time, but at least we'll start somewhere. So I have here uh, a few components. I'll just uh, scooch over and grab the first one and uh, let's go to the top cam. And these are NES connectors. I've already unpacked everything because I ship everything to the office so that way I don't get my stuff stolen on the porch. So I've got um, this nice little um, connector with a 90 degree angle and they were uh, let me see let's go check the price on that is um, let's see yeah 174 us each and i got i believe 20 of them that'll last me for a while i presume next on the list I had four of these. These are the flash RAMs. The um, let me check. It's the uh, ST thirty SF 040 So the five hundred and twelve K flash memory. So I've got four of them. I've received them not very well packaged, but I've tested them on my um, on my uh, EEPROM programmer and. Uh, they seem to work. Now, shall be careful with them because, and how much did that cost? Let's see if I go back. Um, that was $4 for a lot of five pieces. Hey, I'm one, sh oh no, no, sorry. That's the wrong one. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm short one piece. Not at all. It's this one right here. Yeah, so 152. It's pretty cheap and it works. It's cheaper than Mauser. A lot cheaper than Mauser. Mauser was what, $8? So that's a deal. I'm probably gonna order some more at that price. Now the next item on the list that I got, which was a bit of an issue. Um, let me go around. Uh, about the ah, there they are. Um, they are. Let me see. These uh, doesn't say much, but the RP five C RP five C zero one are the real time clock, and I got ten of them, and they arrived packaged just in a bunch in bubble wrap, and I got a few that. The pins are bent unfortunately um, so this one's fine that one's okay that one's okay yeah see you can tell that you know some of them were a bit damaged I believe this one is see that one's not nice too bad it would have been nice to have something that's uh, properly packaged but you know, Chinese vendors, what can you say? Next on the list. So if I go into that we've seen, ah yes, this. Uh, the next item on the list is um, this, the um, SD card readers, uh, the SD card slots basically. And I got 30 of them. Um, well, they were 180 each, right? So, so it's not too bad. It's interesting. It seems to be good quality, but I have no idea how I'm going to solder these things here because it's quite, um, quite small. I think I'll need my, uh, hot air gun for that probably. And a lot of, um, uh, um, solder paste, I believe. Solder paste and, 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 um, I'll never say it. Uh, damn it. <laughs> Flux. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, these are it. These are the other in the batch. They arrived all torn like this and I 
hope that because they were folded, it didn't damage in the corner any of them. Well, worst case scenario, it's like only a dollar eighty for uh, what was it? Ten? That's a joke, really. Um, so next on the list, I shall go to ah yeah the CH. 376 at four dollars for the lot and that's uh, five pieces and I got uh, two lots basically yeah um, I opened one up because I tried to record this earlier and unfortunately um, I recorded an audio background that wasn't uh, very good so yeah I can I don't don't know if you can can see this or there's too much light but yeah it's um it's sop uh package so it's one of the larger uh um surface mount uh, uh packages so that should be easier to it should make my life a bit easier to solder next on the list so next on the list, next on the list, um, yeah, this module here. So if I look at this module, this is a CH376 um, uh, disk read and write module that supports USB uh, control protocol to transfer up to six megahertz, oh, yada yada. What's important is if I look at the camera, yeah, what's important is that it's a parallel input. So basically you have your data lines, read, write, chip select, all the necessary stuff that I can interface directly on the, um, uh, on the Z80. No SPI bullshit. <laughs> no bit banging. I really don't like the bit banging uh, pr uh, idea. It's, it's doable, but hey, so, next on the list also is uh, it's it's bigger brother. Um, so if I go here, it's bigger brother is the same thing except it has an SD card reader on it. Yeah. So this is it. I like actually the bigger SD card form factor. I mean, uh, sturdier. It's going to be easier to solder if you look here. I mean, pins are, are, are more spread apart. They're more out, outside of the body. Still have that pin. You can, you can do SPI also. You have your USB. Hmm, they didn't clean the PCB well. No, but I like it. It's interesting. So I got two of those, two of each, basically. And um, that's it for this mail call. Uh, so I hope uh, you'll um, watch my next one, which is going to be probably I'm going to do one today also. I'm, I'm doing a cleanup of my office and I have a lot of stuff that I bought and I didn't do anything. Um, it's uh, basically a mess in my office right now. Oh, I can see there's a, a few things that I need to clean up there, but there's a lot of things on the floor. There's um, a, a box uh, full of uh, stuff that I bought at Abra Electronics, a store in Montreal, uh, stuff that I bought at Addison or Madison in Laval. Um, so there's, um, there's a few things that I can show you if you want to see it. So anyways, take care. See you next time.